So we're going to see how engaging of the core uh, can really help someone's overall body posture in the water and what the difference looks like when someone's core is engaged and when it's not engaged. A lot of swimmers um, that have been swimming for their entire lives don't engage their cores enough while they swim. Um, and I would say definitely adults that are, are getting into swimming aren't doing a good enough job of engaging their core. So these side-by-side -side videos, we're going to go real slow here. You can see on the left-hand side of the screen, you can see that this is not very good. There's this big dip below her, that, that green line, where on this side, that dip is greatly reduced. So the one on the left is while she was warming up before we had talked about anything in our lesson. And she was just swimming like she normally does. It was relaxed, it was a good swim, but I asked her to think about three different things. She can choose how she wanted to think about it. She could think about putting her ribs in towards her pelvis, like she's putting her, her rib cage to sit down on her pelvis. She can think about pushing her sternum into her spine or thinking about her belly button moving into her spine. One of those three cues typically help everybody. That doesn't mean think about all three of those cues. That means pick one of them, whichever one works best for you. So if we play this in real time, you'll be able to see how her rotation, you could already see it in this frame here, her rotation is way better when her core is engaged. She has a faster turnover rate, same met level of effort, better balance when her core is engaged. This is probably the most important thing someone can think about while swimming. Is, is their core engaged? No matter what type of swimming, breaststroke, backstroke, butterfly, freestyle, distance, freestyle, middle distance, sprint, cores need to be engaged. I hope this was helpful and I hope that you guys keep your core engaged while you swim.